Let's take a look at how you can add captions to audio in PowerPoint, as well as creating the web VTT file in order to import those captions. Adding captions to audio in PowerPoint is fairly straightforward and consists of two parts. First, you record the audio and add it to whatever slide you want to. And secondly, you attach the captions to that audio track. The second part of that is where it gets a little complicated because you need to create a web VTT file to attach it to that audio. So let's first record an audio track. On the menu, there is a record tab. Click on that and go to audio. Let's do a recording. This is an example of how to add captions to your PowerPoint presentation. Now you'll notice that creates this audio icon which indicates that you have an audio track associated with this slide. Let's click it and play it back and see if it sounds right. This is an example of how to add captions to your PowerPoint presentation. Adding captions to your audio is really simple. Make sure you click on the audio icon and then you'll see the audio format and playback options on the menu. Click on playback and you'll see insert captions right here. I'm going to insert the captions and I'm going to select this example VTT file that I've created. Don't worry, we'll come back and look at how you create that in a few minutes. Now when I hit play, this is an example of how to add captions to your PowerPoint presentation. That's how you can see the captions added to that audio. One thing to note, this audio track exists completely independent of whatever you have on your slide. Same thing goes with the captions. So for example, let's go up here and insert a picture and we'll pick stock images. And we'll pick this picture right here. Stretch it out to the full size of the slide. And you'll see because I selected that image, it put the audio track behind it but I can also click on send backward and get the audio track in the front. Now if we don't want that showing up on the screen, let's come up here to arrange, send it to the back. Now when we do the audio, this is an example of how to add captions to your PowerPoint presentation. You can see that it doesn't have that icon on the front of the image. Now by default, the captions show up on the bottom of the screen centered but you can adjust those by controlling things in the web VTT file. This is the web VTT file that we just use for our captions. A couple things you need to note on how to create one of these files. It's essentially a text file that you can create in Notepad or any other text editor. When you save it, just make sure to add this VTT extension on the end instead of TXT. A couple things you need to do in the file itself it has to start with web VTT at the top. You need to use carriage returns in between each section, including the last. And you need to make sure that the time is set at the start and the ending with this dash dash greater than forming an arrow in between. You also need to have three decimal places on the time setting for the seconds. Now in my case, I used minutes and seconds but you can do hours, minutes, and seconds if you have a longer script. Separate that with a colon. Now to create your script, just type what you want to say and divide it up in however format that you want. This essentially becomes one line that shows up at the bottom of your screen for the actual captions. The hard part is getting these start and end times set exactly correct. So what I like to do is type everything out, read it, record your captions, and then play it back and set the time based on those play points that you see when you play it back. So for example, this is an example. You can see here it ends at 1.72 seconds for that first phrase. So I put 1.8 in here and then I just went to 1.9 for the start of the next one. Of how to add captions. You can see on this one 3.43 I made it 3.5, started at 3.6, and then ended at six seconds. Once you have that all set, save this file and then insert the captions from the playback menu as we did earlier.
Side note, I'm keeping this window on top by using Power Toys. There's a setting in there that allows you to stay always on top for any window, so when the context is over here, it still keeps this window open, which is kind of handy because I can see these timings and edit it without having to tab back and forth between these windows. Let's minimize this. Another little trick, take a look at this file. I created this example VTT by copying the other file and I converted all the text to French, but left all the timing and everything else the same. Just added this reference for language. Save that file. Now, if I come over to the playback tab, I can insert captions and select the French one. Now you'll notice that on the actual audio clip here, there is a CC, which allows you to show and hide audio and subtitles. It now has the regular one as well as the French one. So if I play this one now, you'll hear it in English, but it'll have French subtitles. This is an example of how to add captions to your PowerPoint presentation. So you can select between those when you're playing back and the person that's viewing your PowerPoint presentation can also click on this and select between them. If you want to remove them, go back to the playback tab, click on this and remove all captions. That takes everything away. And then you can just go back and insert the one that you want. Now let's take a look at what you can do inside of a VTT file. At the end of the timestamp area, you can type things like position and put in a percentage from zero to hundred percent. Position is the location from the left to the right on the screen. You can also do line and it is also a percentage from zero to hundred percent. And that references from top to bottom in the location of the text. So let's take that and we'll copy it onto the timestamps for the other ones. And we'll adjust this to see a little bit of variety. And you can also do things like underline by putting a less than U greater than. And then you have to make sure to end that with a slash U. You. you can do the same thing with bold and end that with a slash B. There's a whole list of other things that you can do in here, and so I won't go into all the details. But let's save that file out, and we'll come back in here to our captions. We'll insert it, and now play. This is an example of how to add captions to your PowerPoint presentation. So you can see how it adjusts that text around the screen, and it can underline bold and do a variety of different things. If you make any changes, make sure to come up here and remove the captions, then go back and insert them. Otherwise, it won't accept those changes. That's how you add captions to audio in PowerPoint. But before you go, let me share one more awesome tool you'll find useful. The creators over at Insta360 sent me their Insta360 Link 4K webcam to review. If you've watched my channel, you know I don't promote products very often, but this one looked very appealing, and after using it for several weeks, I can say it's the best webcam I've ever owned. It works in any lighting, has spectacular resolution, provides true focus capabilities, lets you switch to top-down views, has noise-canceling microphones, and you can set it in privacy mode when you need it. The Insta360 Link is a fully enabled AI webcam with tracking, gesture control, and other advanced features. Check the link in the description to get yours today. Hey, if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the thumbs up and leave a comment. I really do appreciate your support.